another semester at Hemet High. But really, Joe, it seems like I just haven't gone anywhere. Today, my friends asked me what I had planned with graduation coming up. I really couldn't say. If you could spare the time, I'd sure like to come up and spend a couple of days just getting away from it all. This weekend, little. Let me get that phone. Are you, are you helping? Yeah, I work here with Joe. Yeah. No, yeah, we plan to be out there tomorrow about, oh, uh, oh, about just after dinner. Just after lunch, that is. Yeah. Yeah, we'll help you work those cows. Separate a few of them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, bye. Yeah, that was Bill Clark. He was. Oh, we need to help move a few cows tomorrow, you know. Right. So um, mm -hmm. I figured that uh, since tomorrow's going to be a long day, it's uh, late today. We can just yeah. go to my house and have some supper. Yeah. Do you know how to ride a horse? Mm, a little bit. <laughs> You're going to have to learn tomorrow. I'll be looking forward to that. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Tomorrow. Long road okay. ride. Two sets of skis and a lunch and everything. Like that. So we have to go to the ski area. 
and I put my skis on, and uh, I was headed off down this steep slope. She kept saying, say, Joe, the ski hill's over here. Over here. <laughs> <laughs> so I went back down there with her. Finally, I got turned around. I told her there's something something to do with the, the fact that they weren't cross-country skis, but they were downhill skis. And I went down there. Well, to make a long story short, I spent the whole day with the little kids down there. <laughs> 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 Say, so you guys want some more hot water? Yeah. Sure. All right, let me get a little. Okay. Do you have any plans for when you graduate? Mm, yeah. Well, not really. Not, not, not really let's say, not the typical thing, go to work the mill, join the service, like that. Kind of looking around, really. Mm. So you plan on going to college? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I want to go to Humboldt State. Yeah. You went to uh, New Mexico State, didn't you? Yeah, right. I went to New Mexico State. I was, uh, uh, I was getting a, a degree in range management. Mm -hmm. It was hard. It got kind of rough. And I just wanted to see it through. So it was worth it once it got through. So there's a lot of things that a person can learn while they're going to college. And then later on, when you get out, you, know, you can actually use it. But the thing about it is, I went to college. Um, I got a degree. And I don't have to sit around in a suit all the time, mm -hmm. in a white shirt and a tie. Yeah. I get out here in my grubbies and enjoy myself. I do a lot of riding, and I do a lot of walking, and a lot of hiking, and a lot of just enjoying life. Sounds like you had a job that, it, more or less, you've mixed fun into it. Right? Well, I think if a person doesn't have a job that they can uh, mix fun into it, as yeah. you put it, they shouldn't be in that job. Yeah. <laughs> I give a little shorty there a little bit of it. There's only two things these horses like. One of them's eating oats and the other one's going uphill and they don't care which comes first. <laughs> All right. Here he goes again. The last yeah, I'll give him the last bit of it. Watch that wild one. You got the last of it there. There ain't yeah. too much left. Joe, um, what blanket do you want to put on? I think, I think we put those right there on. You sure? Go ahead and hand them over and I'll put them over here. Well, these are called shotgun shafts, and these are too small. Your feet are too big, so you have to take your shoes off to put them on. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Sure. Uh, uh. Hey, Luke. Luke. Well, Matt, you can go ahead and ride Duke. Uh, Terry can ride uh, Shorty, and I'll ride uh, the Appaloosa. And, uh, oh, I'd just be kind of careful with him at first there. Just kind of keep your eyes on, on what you're doing and and uh, let Bill kind of run the show. He'll he'll let you know more or less what he wants. And we'll have to bring him into that, that monthly post pastor. Hi, Joe. How, How are you, you today? Good. How's everything going? Glad to see some help come up here oh, today. Oh, boy. Terry, you remember Terry? Hi, Terry. Hi. How are you? And this is Matt. Uh, Matt. Porter. He just friends his family's come up. Good. We we'll put get... him to work. Yeah, I'll try to show him a little range management. He's interested uh, in that. Well, I see you got your dogs with you. What do you think we ought to do here with these cows? Today? Well, I'd like to bring, bring them in here or doing a little. I'd like to bring these cows in and work them a little bit. I got a few uh, I want to cut out. Is that right? OK, well. You say when, we're ready to go oh, in there and help you now. Yeah, fine. All right. We got some experienced horsemen here. Good. That's what we need. Well, mm -hmm. 
I am one with the land, sitting in the saddle with the reins in my hand. One with the land, a way of life that I understand. Good morning, tree, sweet autumn breeze, you feel like a friend to me. And I love you so, wherever I go. I know you are free to me And I'm one with the land Sitting in the saddle with the reins in my hand One with the land A way of life that I understand Area, see, then we have uh, all of the grass for a gr growing season. That gives you a comparison, is what I'm saying. All right, go ahead and take it on down. Watch the corner over there, Terry. Now that might be. Pull it off all the way down. All right, there we go. Okay, that'll work. When you get to 60% utilization, then you move your cattle out of this pasture. Now, we'll keep cattle from grazing that area there. Yeah. They'll be grazing on the outside here. When they've grazed 60% of the grass that's out in this area, as compared to what's in the cage, we'll get them. Well, it really doesn't make any difference what uh, class of livestock you have or what type of livestock. The main thing is you've got to know when to move them and where to move them. Okay. And so that's the, the main idea when it comes to management. Because if you don't know where to put cattle, don't know uh, where and when to move them, or sheep or anything, you just don't know, you know what to do with them, you can uh, ruin some land. Now, if you just uh, listen to what we got here, just stop them. Just take a few seconds and just listen to the sound here. It's nice. You hear the wind? It's mellow, it's good. This is what the music is all about. This is music, and I don't think there's any type of of a musical instrument that's ever been able to to, uh, to come up with anything like this. To the Indian, this is the music, the sight of the trees, the sight of the, the sky, the clouds, the water, the wind. And this is, the, this is uh, what we try to manage for. It's healthy, it's good. Now, management, of course, gets into different uh, well, there's different types of work. There's different phases when it comes to management. There's uh, timber management, range management. Uh, then we get into wildlife management, and that has to do with, uh, oh, some fisheries, uh, habitat improvement. Um, we work with deer and elk, this type of thing. We work in um, watershed, watershed management, which you see that, that lake there is evidence of good watershed management. We've protected our springs and they're, the, they're running into this lake and we've got a, a good lake for recreation, for wildlife. Uh, of course, watershed is mainly concerned with keeping the 
plant roots in the ground. Once you lose, lose the, the roots of the plant, then you've lost your plant, of course. And once you lose your grass, you lose your soil. And once you lose your soil, you don't have agriculture. So we take care of our, of our plants, the roots of, of the, the plants, of course. And then, uh, so this is watershed man management. Uh, timber management, uh, this evening, a friend of mine by the name of uh, C.J. Bryant will be in, and he'll be talking to us about that. And he, he's a forester by trade, and he knows it pretty well, you know. But there's a lot of different fields that a person can get into when it comes to natural resources. So these, the fields are really open, like, to take care of the land around. They are. They really are. And uh, every field has a lot of positions, you know. Uh, a lot of people don't like to work out on the ground, but they work in the office. They do the administration, maybe you might say. And these are the things that uh, I've tried to get across today as we've done our writing and done our, our grass utilization clipping and, uh, and talking about different things. And I've just, uh, I've just wondered, what, what, what do you think about it that now that we've gone through the day and you've, you've, um, I know you've been thinking about uh, your future and what you feel um, you'd like to do as far as a vocation. Mm -hmm. And uh, I wonder how you see it now after having been out with us today. I look at it a lot differently. I was, I'm was i just new to it, and that's why I didn't realize all these things were happening around me, at least around in the forest and things like that. It's a complicated field. The fields, I mean, are complicated, and we need good men, mm -hmm. good women. We need good people. And I think that the Indian people are one of the best places we can get them. When uh, Indian young people take an interest in the natural resources of this country, they'll be improved so much more because we're naturals at it. We belong to the land, we, were, we, we come from the land, and there's no way that we can't manage if we take an interest. But we need to come back to the land and learn about it and uh, express our feeling for the land in the way we take care of it. <laughs> Riding tomorrow morning, coming bow-legging, sore. Yeah, I'm going to say I'm a little bad. bit sore also. You like the Badger Creek here, Bill? Hello, Joe. Hello, CJ. How, how are you? How are you Pretty been? good. Pretty good. How, how are you been? been? This yeah, is I'm Matthew well. Tortoise. I'm Matthew Tortoise. I've been Matthew. telling him about you. All right, Terry. Hey, we have a seat here. We're just talking about it. You think you had a long trip, haven't you? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I had a hard time finding you guys. Is that right? I've lost a couple times, but made it okay. You had a pretty good trip on the day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. This is a nice country. Were you just visiting, or? Oh, I come down to see Joe. I've known Joe for a long time, and I thought I'd come down and say hello. Where are you uh, coming down from? Came down from Pendleton. That's uh, a couple hundred miles north of here. Did you have any trouble? Oh, I made a couple of wrong turns, <laughs> but other than that, uh, yeah. I made it all right. It's mm -hmm. kind of a hard place to find. Definitely it is. Stuff. It's kind of out of the way. Yeah. Sounds like you've been pretty busy. Yeah, so, yeah. So, they're thinking yeah. about uh, careers in this type of work. I thought it'd be really good for you to come because I was interested in range management, management or forestry. Cause yeah. I definitely know where I want to go to school. It's just those two fields. Yeah. Well, don't let Joe influence you too much because <laughs> forestry is just a good field. Uh-uh. As uh, uh, range of, uh, management. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, they're they're both interesting fields. There's a lot, uh, there's a lot of similarities in um, forestry and uh, range management. We were thinking that you might be able to give Terry and Matthew an idea just uh, as to the openings or um, any kind of a career opportunity that might arise for them. To well, tell us about uh, that there, and then talk, tell us about forestry in general. Well, there, um, I would say there's a lot of opportunity now uh, for young Indian people in forestry. And I'm just talking strictly about forestry, but right. uh, of course there's a need for Indians in range management and fisheries and uh, wildlife and the other natural resource fields, but I'm a forester and that's where my interest is. And forestry gives me an opportunity to to uh, earn a good living and to uh, work outdoors like I like to. And yeah. uh, it's also, uh, there's some, some intellectual challenge and stimulation, you know, you're not just uh, doing the same thing over and over, you know, uh, constantly uh, doing different things. But in, in order to do it, <clears throat> you have to have a, a degree in forestry, you know, to really uh, do the professional type work. What kind of opportunities would there be there for girls? Well, 
I, I'm beginning to see more and more uh, female foresters, and so I would think that uh, there's the same opportunity for women now as there is for for men. Yeah, you know, um, I've been in the field about 15 years. When I came in, uh, I'd never heard of a woman forester. A woman forester was about as rare as an Indian forester. And uh, but now. Uh, when I go to meetings, I see uh, women sitting in them, and uh, really? I, uh, yeah, right, uh, there's becoming more and more women mm -hmm. in forestry. For an Indian student to get into these careers, forestry range management, are there, is it like, is there money around for mm -hmm. me or Matt to? Um, I've heard that there's a program at Humboldt State called the uh, Nakanar program, and uh, there. From what I'm told, uh, they're trying to get more Indian students into the natural resource uh, fields. Would they help us out, let's say? Let's see, such as well, filling out uh, some forms and stuff? They, they'll help you get into college, and from what I've been told, and they'll help you get your financial aids. And uh, it's a group of Indian students uh, working together and living together, and uh, they've got Indian counselors, they've got an Indian director, and. Uh, so there are a lot of people interested in uh, seeing uh, Indian uh, people get into these fields. I know it's going to be hard because I'm not too good with books anyway. <laughs> you know, I, I think uh, you have to work hard. I'm convinced almost anyone can, can get through college if uh, if they want to work hard. Hard work, that, that's the main thing. I, I, I don't know, I don't think there's anything that's that's worth having or any type of person that's worth having more than a person that works hard. Mm -hmm. The thing is, when you get that uh, that degree, you, you've got an opportunity to learn. You learn to think in school. If you want to learn to do a job, you've got to get, actually get out and do it. And in order to have that opportunity, you've got to go to school. That's the way things are. Since the day of my birth 